Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. I'm in my craft room today because I had my camera set up anyway and I thought I would just give you a little different view for a second time. This video is going to be a bit haphazard for you guys, but what happened is I taped a video November, maybe last year, um, maybe December. I I taped it last year and it's all about my wax melts and what I'm doing now as opposed to what I have been doing in the past. And um, I had that going and I was going to, I was going to air it, but I just, I just kept like putting off. <laughs> I just kept putting off airing it. And I'm kind of glad I did because since then I've made another change. <laughs> So guys, I want to just give you a quick backstory. This is not going to be quick. Who are, who are we kidding? <laughs> this is not going to be quick. I want to give you a backstory. All right, clamshells. I have been using clamshells since day one. I have been get, wanting to get rid of these for forever, probably since day two. <laughs> but I've always struggled with what to do in place of. I order these in like 700 or more per case, like 730 or something like that sometimes. So what I what would happen over the last few years, I would be running low and I would think, I've got to figure out what I want to do. I have to figure this out. I don't want to order another box. And I would just like, couldn't get there. I just could not get there. And so I would order another box. I'll... <laughs> Scarlett O'Hara it, and I'll, I'll worry about that tomorrow. <laughs> I did that three times. Three times I ordered a new box of 700 so that I could give myself another year of figuring out what in the world I want to do and not use these clamshells. So there was some thought in my brain about just doing individual um, pucks or or little things like mini muffin tin type of things. And I, I think I did that at one point, mini muffin tin, little single use things. The problem with that is I really do like my designs on them and I felt very limited in that. I couldn't, I, I just didn't feel like I had any kind of artistic outlet, just kind of what color. <laughs> so, and I felt that packaging them was a pain as well. So. I didn't really like that idea. I like my clamshells. I liked the size, the ounces, and I liked being able to do some fun designs in them. Fast forward, <laughs> if you want to consider that, to October of last year. It was it was crunch time. I had to come up with something, and I was being very stubborn. I'm not ordering another box of these clamshells. I'm not doing it. I've got to figure this out. And guys, this funny story. So I had decided take them out of the clamshells. Just melt them in a clamshell, take them out of the clamshell and wrap them. Done. I was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm such a genius." <laughs> what? Why did it take me so long? And I was I was so proud of myself, guys. <laughs> I don't come up with these things. I'm not that clever. <laughs> and um, what happened, it was October, because I remember I had my Covered Bridge Festival in October, so I took this. Here's, here's one. I took that to Covered Bridge, and I asked my shoppers, my customers there, I said, what do you think about buying wax melts in this instead of in this? And they were all positive. The only negative was, well, what are we, how, how are we gonna, if we only use one cube, what? how do we kind of store the rest of it? Very valid, right? I, I was thinking about that and um, I did some tests in this that week because I was coming home at night making clamp, my wax melts. I was selling wax melts so fast. I was coming home and remaking them every night. Um, so I tested it to see if pouring them in the plastic clamshell, taking them out of the plastic clamshell the next morning, if that would hold the scent, and it didn't. So I was really excited about that because I was afraid I was going to have to have like a box of these um, 
for sweet and a box for savory or what have you. But no, scent doesn't really retain in the plastic as long as you take them out within a, you know 12 hours or so. So I was really excited. And you guys, <sighs> now I am a patron of, of Keeley at Soy and Shea. The very same week, like three or four days later, an email comes through that that she had pretty much the same thing. Same thing, guys. <laughs> and I was I was at first really, really kind of upset. Not not because I'm not a genius and okay, because I thought I really thought I had a good idea. And no one's going to believe that this was my idea, that I came up with this, and that we just came up with the same idea. No one's going to believe that. <laughs> Everyone's going to think I'm trying to steal this idea for myself and, you know, all of that stuff that that people think the worst of you. Uh, that was on my mind that week, but I did contact her, and she was so sweet. And she's like, well, great minds think alike. And I think, oh, okay. <laughs> What I think, I think Keely there did help get me to this revelation that I had that week was because of, uh, six months prior to that, I saw her shrink wrap her wax melts. And I'm thinking, I didn't know you could shrink wrap wax melts. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then I really didn't think much about it um, until I was trying to come up with a way to lose these. I'm like, I'll shrink wrap them. Well... And before I forget, Keely, while we were talking back and forth a little bit, she did give me the idea of cutting off the flap so I don't have to deal with this thing. I was like, yes, she's a genius, guys. I, I don't know. I probably would have never thought to do that. <laughs> so now I have a box of these with no flap, and those are great. Let's fast forward. Let's, let me try to move this along. So here is my... Um, fix or so for if you're not going to use a whole bar how do you how do you hold on to this how do you store this and I just ordered these glassine glassine bags from Amazon I have my warning label and then they have a little pouch where they can keep the wax if they're not going to use the whole thing in one go so I'm really happy with this I and uh, my my customers are happy with it I've got a few of my wax melts that I'm clearancing out that are still in the clamshells. They're mostly, you know, false scents, but um, those are on clearance so I can just move them away and move them out. I'm working on trying to figure out how to um, uh, display these at craft shows. But other than that, I'm super happy. And like my cherry almond one, I have a couple of these left with like my little cherry there. So this is one that they actually look at and then on my craft show table, and then this is what they purchase. So I have both of these. Um, so same thing with this. They can look and smell this, and they purchase this. So far that's working really well. And then, <laughs> then I decided that maybe I wanna get on the bandwagon of the chocolate bar. I didn't want to do this. <laughs> I didn't want to because it feels like everybody's doing the snap bar or chocolate bar or whatever. Everybody's doing these snap bars. Um, and I wanted to try to be different. But clamshells are not different and I've been doing these for years. So I might as well do something that is really cute and fun and I can't wait to try these. So that's my long story. This I'm sure is way too long. Way too long guys. If I can make this intro short enough, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug in the portion of the video I made last year of my pouring and using these clamshells. I'm going to plug that in here. So then I'm going to plug in the first time I'm using my snap bar mold. So I'm going to, I've got a couple of fragrances I've got pulled. I want to test my snap bar mold. I have some packaging for that and I may just do both. We'll see. I may just have both on my, on my shelf and that would be fine too, wouldn't it? <laughs> so hang tight. I think it's lemon curd. I'm going to plug that in now, and then I'll see you guys on the other side of that. All right, so my wax has come up to temp, and I am going to put 
summer breeze in here. And actually, where is it? Oh, oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm using blue Hawaiian. I'm doing this, guys, uh, for, for, for real. Now, I've tested this way of doing things, but this is my first time of actually doing this for sale. This is a Midland sale for me. I don't think I'm going to buy this again. Uh, I really like it. I, I think it's very tropical, so I really, really like it, but it's just a middle end of the road sale for me, so I'm going to just use up. I'm trying to make, I may just make up a couple more real quick. What I'll probably do is weigh this off, see how much I have left, and then I'll probably just, like, what is it? Uh, get enough wax for whatever I have left. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So when I tested this back in October, I don't know if I've already said this or not, <sighs> guys, sorry. But when I took them out, I waited um, another day and smelled the clamshell. It didn't retain any of the scent. And now I have had it retain scent when it's been stored in there for months, but just overnight, these aren't retaining the scent. So I can reuse this for any other scent that I need. Okay, so it's the next morning and I am just going to pop these out. Let's see. This worked when I tested it in October. Hopefully, I'm not going to break them. If I'm careful, I won't. Mmm, coconut lime verbena. It smells so good and clean. I love it. I get it from Candle Science. Now, this has a tiny bit of smell to it, but nothing crazy. Nothing that... It's going to dissipate fairly quickly, I believe. All right. So I did want to show or look at these because I made a huge mess on some of these clamshells here. I mean, I just got a little carried away. <laughs> and um, I saved too much white. I wanted this to be more of a drizzle. Um, so I saved way too much of that, so it's more of a plop. <laughs> this is a lemon curd from Nature's Garden. But I just wanted to see, with me making a mess and maybe overfilling a bit, how that was going to work out. Mm, this is a really strong cold throw scent. Super, super strong. See, look at that. I have that so gunked up. <sighs> but um, I have started adding a bit more paraffin to my wax um, wax melts and so they're coming out of the warmers a lot easier and they're cleaning up a lot easier before I started adding this little bit of paraffin to this uh, blend I would never have been able to clean these off. It would have just smeared, and it's smearing just a tiny bit, but nothing crazy. Um, and so I, I should be able to still use that one again. Same thing with this. It's, it's cleaning up nicely. That one's a lot. That one has a lot on the bottom, so I'm not sure about the whole <laughs> messy on the bottom thing. But... They are cleaning up quite nicely, only because I add that paraffin, honestly. I still just can't decide. I've been thinking about it all night long. If I want to go ahead and wrap them, if that would protect that scent and protect it from um, spreading from one to the other. So if you had them all like this, it, are they going to smell? And if you store it like this, for a while, I think that scent would probably carry through to the other wax melt. I think this would protect that from happening, but I don't know that I need to do both. I think this would protect it enough. 
I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna have to play around with this that one. Salted caramel frappe, 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 from Nature's Garden. Really like this scent, and I only have one left. Alrighty, so here's my mats or my snap purse. I saw a video from Karen at Eden Secrets that she put hers in the microwave, so I did. A minute and a half in the microwave, they're nice and warm. And I pulled off just a little bit of my wax to leave uncolored. And what I'm gonna do is I have these uh, little coffee beans, if you can see. I made these with some matte wax. And I think I'm just gonna put one in each one. And I hope the heat will kind of adhere them because I'm worried that they're just gonna like fall over when I pour the wax in. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit and swirl it like this. I'm gonna remelt this and add a little bit of ivory because I'm gonna top this with just a little bit of ivory. All right, so one drop of ivory probably made this a little darker than I would like for it to be, but I'm just gonna go with it and I'm just gonna try to barely, barely put it on here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. I think it's set up enough that it won't muddy too much. It'll pour just right on top. So let's see, let's see about this without spilling. All right, I made more than I thought. I really, let me go see, hang on. This size batch made 12 clamshells. So I'm getting 20. So not half the weight. So I'm definitely gonna have to charge less for this than I would a clamshell. I'm just gonna walk away and we'll come back tomorrow and we will see what they look like. All right, let's see how they unmold. It is the next day. It smells so good in here. Oh, look at that. How cute. There they are, unmolded. I think they're really adorable. I like using these molds. I am pretty happy with them. Um, so there's that one. My focused it there. There's that one. Wax melt clamshells are done. I'm done with them. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so happy that I have finally, after years of struggling, moved past those plastic clamshells. Uh, I'm really happy with my process as far as um, melting them or, or pouring them in the plastic clamshells and taking them out and then packaging them. So this is how I package those. I have one in shrink wrap with the name, the label, and then one in the glassine bag with the label and the uh, warning label on the back. Uh, so smell purchase and I really I have a new uh, Display and I like how I'm displaying them. So I'm really happy with these. I have no complaints doing it this way uh, The snap bars are fun So I just you know, I have them packaged now. I will have the the mold I bought from Amazon and these bags that I bought from Amazon. I'll have that linked in the description. So if you want to check that out, feel free. Uh, I'm really happy with that. I have one that I have a label. I've labeled uh, just kind of playing around. I, this one's kind of messed up because I moved it. Uh, so there's my label on the back. So the front is 
you know, you can see the front clearly and no obstruction of viewing. So happy with that. Now the difference, this is a little over two and a half ounces where this is a, a little over one and a half ounce. And um, so it is, it is almost exactly one ounce difference between the two. So I will have to charge differently for the two. That's okay, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I did make another quick tester with the snap bars. So this is Pineapple Sage from Midwest Fairgrounds. It's nice, guys. I can't wait to test this in a couple days. That is supposed to be <laughs> green. It's black. I don't know. Yeah, so if this passes my test and I bring this into my line, I'm gonna use a different green. I think I still like the green and yellow for Pineapple Sage. Uh, I just need to use a different green. Uh, but I'm really happy with the snap bars. I think they're fun. I have this in shrink wrap so that you can see and smell, right? This, I'm not sure I need to shrink wrap it, but I think I am. I have one that I have held out. I'm gonna shrink wrap this. And then in a couple days, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison to see if the smell's coming through or if I really do need to shrink wrap that. So if the smell's continuing to come through strongly without any kind of problems, I won't worry about shrink wrapping the snap bars. I, I feel like I'm speed talking, but I'm trying to get all this in and keep this video somewhat re reasonably long or short. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I so much appreciate your time. So if you like the video, guys, give me a thumbs up, would you? That really does help my channel. And if you hated the video, give me a thumbs down. That's okay. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.